Hey YouTube, it's Brian from AquaticSupportSystems.com and Brian's Fish Tanks. Thought I would just give you an update on all my shrimp tanks today. Um, so um, stay tuned for that. Before I get started, I just wanted to thank everybody um, that subscribes to my channel. I've seen a little bit of growth lately, so that's fun. If you're new to this channel and like what you see, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Also, please leave a like on your way out when you do watch these videos and you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know what your favorite shrimp is in the comments below um, that you saw in my video today. All right, so we'll get started with the tour here and we're just going to start with the uh, lower grade crystal reds. Um, this tank, as I've said many times, is kind of my workhorse tank. These guys are steady, solid, hardy, and they've just bred great for me over the past, I don't know how many years now, three, four, five years. These are like, I guess you would say A to S grade, and um, these are available. If you're looking to buy some, just uh, shoot me an email. Um, it'll be in the uh, description section below the video. Um, the Black Pinto tank, uh, you probably saw the video I did where I rescaped this. They're doing great. You can see there's tons of them in there. I need to get in there and do a little culling because there are some Michelings in there. Um, you know, kind of that more brownish, rusty looking color versus the black. So I'm going to call those out of there and, uh, you know, just go from there. The uh, SS to SSS grade tank is uh, basically needs a kickstart. I'm down to less than 10. As you can see, there's only like five in front of you here. Um, so we'll see about probably purchasing some more or maybe just putting those in with the lower grade and doing something else completely different in that tank. The PRLs are doing awesome. A lot of breeding. You can see uh, the colony there. They're kind of, I dropped the pellet in um, under this moss, unfortunately, so you can't really see them all, but there's a ton of them in there. They're doing great. The super crystals are doing awesome as well. You can see them back there. Somehow they move the pellet. This is Shrimp King Complete when I say pellets. It's actually a stick. Um, I feed Shrimp King Complete along with some other brands in my fish room or shrimp room, I should say, to my shrimp tanks, whatever you want to say. So these, this colony is doing great. There's several of them in there. You may have seen a short clip that I put on Instagram and Facebook the other day. And then the mixed Taiwan B tank is also doing good. Um, I've got blue bolts available out of this tank. If anyone's interested, just shoot me an email. Again, my email is down in the description, but this is a combination of blue bolts, um, red bolts. Some of the red bolts are basically white. Um, BKK, Shadow Pandas, Pandas, kind of the, the works down in there. So, um, quick look at some of my fish tanks. If you're, some people watch my videos for the cichlids and the big fish that I keep, and some watch for the shrimp. So, if you just watch for the shrimp and don't always see my fish, there's a quick sneak peek at the fish room there. And then the shrimp tanks are kind of mixed in. And then we've got this rack over here. Blue Dreams doing well as always. Can't complain there. Red Pintos are doing super well. Both the Blue Dreams and possibly some of these Red Pintos I could uh, let go if people are interested. These uh, Golden Bees slash White bees are doing well breeding like crazy if you're interested in these i've definitely got some available as well as the mixed tie bee tank down below doing well got crystal blacks got those available a couple of crystal reds made their way in there and a ton of snails <laughs> more on that later um this is the bloody mary tank some are looking better than others. Gonna kind of just let this 
continue to grow and then call as need be. This is the dwarf crayfish tank. I can't really see any crayfish now, but there are some in there. They, they do a lot of hiding. I'd like to get some of those orange Mexican dwarf crayfish. Um, if anybody has a lead on those, put a comment below and let me know. And then this tank is the one I'm probably most disappointed with right now. This is, sorry, I've got very little room to work with because I've got a stack of boxes behind me trying to get into this little corner. But this is the Savage Red tank. And it definitely needs culling. As you can see, there's been a bunch of uh, shrimp that are not red that have... Uh, um, come out of the last couple of uh, births, I guess you'd say. So that's disappointing, but we'll see what we can do as far as removing them. And uh, there's also <laughs> there's also scuds in this tank. You can see one of them right there. So that's also unfortunate. But I recently treated this tank. Hopefully that'll remove scuds. If not, you know, we'll figure something out. I'll take you upstairs now and show you the last couple of tanks. All right, so this 90 gallon planted tank actually has, uh, I've really been working on it a lot lately and I've gotten ahead of the Blackbeard algae problem that you may have heard me talk about in the past. Uh, it's basically a cherry tank uh, along with some fish, but as you can see, there's all sorts of nice cherries in here and I'm looking to, to buy more of a decent grade like fire red type of type of grade if you will so comment below if you have any available at a you know fair and decent price I may be interested in picking some up from you but yeah that's what's going on there Kind of my one and only high-tech planted tank. When I say high-tech, meaning I run CO2, highlight, dose verts, that type of thing. Down below are the what's left of the wine reds. This colony just hasn't done well like I had hoped. There's, prob there's less than 10 in there. You can see four adults right out in front. There's a few more too, but um, we'll see about trying to jumpstart this colony also. And then finally, this is my Midas pair here too, by the way, if you're um, not into my cichlids, these are kind of one of my favorite pair of fish. But anyway, and then down below here, sorry about the algae on the glass, but we've got the blue bolt colony. This colony has been doing really good other than I haven't shown a lot of breeding, but as far as just, you know, living, doing well, survival rates and the colors on them. You know, some of these would be almost considered extreme blue bolts, I think. So they're doing real well also. Um, but that's basically all the tanks. All right, thanks for watching. And again, I appreciate everybody that subscribes to this channel. Make sure that if you're new that you do subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please leave a like on your way out and let me know what your favorite shrimp that you saw in this video was below as well. Leave a comment. Um, and if you're looking for any shrimp food, shrimp products, things like that, make sure you go to AquaticSupportSystems.com. We carry quite a bit of, um, you know, different shrimp brands. We got Shrimp King, Low Keys, MK Breed, Glass Garden, Salty Shrimp, um, and we do carry quite a bit of other fish-related products as well. So um, make sure that you check that out. Until next time, thanks for watching.